from cat litter to water filtration, to radiation decontamination, to air purifiers, to solar thermal collectors, to industrial chillers. Zeolite does it all. So what are zeolites and what do they do? In 1765, Swedish chemist and mineralogist Alex Grunstedt, best known for discovering nickel, made a huge discovery. When he heated the mineral still bite, he noticed the surface of the mineral get covered in bubbles, as if the stone was boiling. He coined the term zeolite from the Greek zeo to boil and lithos, stone. Boiling stone. Zeolites are microporous solids with a crystalline structure. They are commonly referred to as aluminosilicate minerals. This is due to the fact that they are commonly made from the interlinked tetrahedra of alumina and silica. There are about 40 known natural zeolites in the form of minerals and over 150 zeolites which have been synthesized for commercial and specialized uses. These aluminosilicate minerals have relatively high melting points and they are very resistant to environmental conditions. They are resistant to high temperatures and pressures. They don't dissolve in water or other inorganic solvents and they don't oxidize in air. The most interesting thing about zeolites is their open, cage-like structure. This allows them to trap other molecules inside it. Zeolites have fixed openings in them, which let small molecules pass through, but trap larger molecules. For this reason, they are sometimes referred to as molecular sieves. Natural zeolites occur in random forms and mixed sizes. However, zeolites can be synthesized in very precise and uniform dimensions to trap a certain size of molecules inside them. For example, sapphire 34 is commonly used in methanol to olefins conversion and also in carbon dioxide for methane separation in natural gas purification. One of the most common everyday uses for zeolites is in water softeners and water filters. In water softeners, hard water is piped through a column filled with sodium containing zeolites. Hard water is rich in calcium and magnesium ions. The zeolites trap the calcium and magnesium ions and release sodium ions in their place, so the water becomes softer but richer in sodium. Moreover, Many laundry and dishwasher detergents contain zeolites to remove calcium and magnesium to soften water, so they work more effectively. Another important use for zeolites is as catalysts in pharmaceutical production and in the petrochemical industry. They are used in catalytic crackers to break large hydrocarbon molecules into gasoline, diesel, kerosene, and all kinds of other byproducts of petroleum. Zeolites, unique, marvelous, without compromise. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Help us grow and create more videos like these.